Yeah, 260467. I don't have an email address that I give out to uh, people that abuse the Investigatory Powers Act. Yeah, sure, that's... Um, hang on one second. It shouldn't be a number withheld anyway, should it? Um, I've just had to put a statement online about why I'm having to burn legal letters before leaving my property today. Okay, because I've already uh, been contacted by your company last week, I think it was, or the week before, asking about bonfires that I've been having. Um, which I said are being used to distract yourselves because of the court case that's been uh, in motion at the moment. Um, so today I've had to burn legal letters that could help my enemies before I leave my property because I was distracted when Mr Graham Murphy attempted to poison my dog and I had to walk away uh, from the situation immediately uh, so I wasn't provoked because that's what he was attempting to do um, but he deliberately tried to poison the area what the dog stands on its hind legs and barks at him when he's staring at it okay I've since um, videoed the effects on the grass in my garden and the bush that has been cut back off of that fence and sprayed with weed killer. So the grass is now dying under the area that Mr Graham Murphy sprayed attempting to poison my dog. The grass is actually dying and I videoed it and put it online and told the solicitor I've done that as well. So there is a public record because once it had been done to prove the fact that it would harm my dog, what I actually did, I recorded myself picking the grass that has actually now died. So whatever was sprayed on that grass that my dog would have absorbed through the pads of its feet would absorb into my skin as well. I deliberately did that to prove the point of what he was doing. So, I'm getting ill. The weeds are not present in my garden, but the grass is dying in the area that has been poisoned by the neighbour who attempted to murder me. He gassed me and my dog Snatch that has since died from that in my own bedroom. It's logged on your complaint logs from about two years ago, I think it was 2018, um, which I have requested um, and was sent a sarcastic letter with recent complaints from this year which the solicitor has now got. Uh, I've advised my solicitor because what I requested was the full complaint logs was not sent by the antisocial behaviour team person that was dealing with it. I've requested that my solicitor now go for those entire records because a deliberate attempt has been made to set me up to cover up the crime of trying to kill me. I'm reporting, no, I'm reporting today that I've just burnt about four or five letters inside a small cardboard box 
so my enemies can't read them when I leave my property because I cannot guarantee now the security of this property because the keys were left in the door the entire time I was away from my property that day when I was distracted with that weed killer attempt. Okay, so I cannot even leave confidential legal documents in my safe because the safe keys were on the door with the house keys. There's nothing... We've had this issue where I've reported my cameras being interfered with before. That's the reason they was put up there to protect me against the threats of violence and everything else that was coming specifically from Mr. Graham Murphy. Right, now I've been tricked into court after being set up and I will prove that and I will prove that there's a liability to be reckoned. Because I've been, uh, you know, branded antisocial by the police, been told I'm aggressive by the police when I reported him for attempting to kill me. I said, I beg your pardon? Am I not allowed to be angry that somebody's just tried to kill me and yet I'm showing him mercy? He attempted to gas me deliberately in my bedroom using his strimmer, his petrol strimmer. Deliberately aimed and revved it up into my bedroom window. Deliberately. When asked how I re responded to that, I said, well, I couldn't respond. I was laying in my bed. My back was completely locked. I couldn't move. So I just shouted out the window, cheers, mate. Nothing else I could do about it. And then I started getting sick, really, really sick. And my dog died from that same injury. She never recovered from it because she's a smaller being than I am. But my health is deteriorating and I'm not accepting the setup that's been enacted against me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm not going to be branded a criminal because uh, I spotted why today. Um. Someone's down at um, Port and Down military base where they carry out germ research and development. Um, she's down there discussing criminal threats and terrorism apparently. Well I'm no terrorist and I'm no criminal. But I'm being tricked into court to be painted as a criminal aren't I? Yes, yes. So this is the scope of what's being done and it's been uncovered and published all publicly across the internet. Um, it's now been adjourned until the 14th of January because the court has accepted a letter signed by myself and a witness statement from my son who was there that the police refused to get a witness statement from. Made no attempt to try and get it, so they denied there was another witness. Okay, yeah, so it, it's starting to get very, very serious. Um, you know, these attempts keep going on. Um, I'm not falling for it, uh, because they're getting more and more sneakier, but I am now fully aware that someone has got access, if they have managed to get hold of those keys, they've got access to the inside of my property. Well, who would stand to gain from it in a court case? Who would want to distract me to do that in a provocating act? The person that was spraying the weed killer up my fence attempting to poison my dog, who also tried to kill me. Well, you know, why would he ask what I've got in there and why I need to put cameras up then? What's it got to do with him, what's in my property? Yeah, um, but why would he ask why I need to put cameras up? What have I got in my house that needs cameras up? 
So why would he ask such a question and then distract me to get access to the keys? Hmm. Well, this is a recorded call, isn't it? So, uh, you know, um, you've been made fully aware of what's going on here. Um, I've got to leave my property in a little bit to go and get some essential shopping supplies, um, which is why I've burnt the letters and why I've told you I've burnt the letters after posting the same information online about why I've done it because um, the little click of neighbours that want to get me evicted to cover for their friend because they stand to be evicted if it's proved that they also allowed an act of and a threat of violence to come from their property and I'm talking about Margaret who lives at the back of me at number 11 whatever it is road because that's an evictable offence isn't it if a threat of violence is made from her property okay yeah, well, I'm, like I said, I'm sick of being disbelieved about all of this, uh, so I'm going out of my way to prove it all conclusively now. And, you know, okay. Uh, the other thing, uh, is there any more movement on your power test, what you want to carry out here? Because I've heard absolutely nothing. Oh, right, okay. Well, usually I get a letter, don't I, and I've received no such letter. Okay, so I'll leave that with you. I'm not going to waste my time. Okay. All right, lovely. Thank you. Bye-bye. So you've heard me uh, tell the landlord why I've had to burn legal papers in my garden. Now I'm going to, uh, if I've got enough time, which I haven't, so I can't actually go out in the garden and show you how big the fire was. It was literally the small box what the uh, bike light came in, so three times the size of that the box was. Uh, with about five letters in it that couldn't be seen by someone that could access my property. Okay, so this is just going online as 